Good evening to you. I'm Erin Cargile. Thanks for joining us for our late show tonight. Phase two about to begin when it comes to combating homelessness in downtown Austin. A 30 day pilot program ended Friday and the city police and community groups have been pooling resources together. Today, Keg Sands Alyssa Gord came face to face with progress. It was seemed like we was we was going nowhere fast. We first met Adrian and his 11 year old son a month ago outside the arch while they were living on the streets. It was their home since Adrian's wife died in December. But now things are looking up. They're staying at the Salvation Army. Adrian has a job and his son is finally enrolled in school. It feels amazing, it feels great. All of it happening while the city was taking a new approach to helping the homeless. Adrian says those here now are looking for a positive change. It's, it's been changed a lot. They didn't clean up uh, a lot of the area where drugs was at, which is a good thing. Here's what it looked like before. Now look at the after. A lot cleaner and less crowded. I think it's been enormously successful. Mayor Pro Tem Kathy Tovo praised the extra cleaning, the porta potties, and work by police to keep out drug dealers. But the question remains how do they keep this up? And that's a challenge right now because we have more people who are interested in case management services than we are able to fund. With long term housing programs already full, they'll be asking the private sector and the city to step up. The Ending Homelessness Coalition would like to see the city's homeless supported just as much as Harvey evacuees in Austin. How do we every day deal with the crisis of homelessness as if it is a crisis in a natural disaster? Because for the people experiencing homelessness, it is a disaster. One way they'll start doing that by listening to the stories of people like Adrian. The only way that you can really understand it is to talk to them one on one, find out what's going on in their heads. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And we hope things continue looking up for Adrian and his son. And during this next phase, the coalition will make some changes to how free meals are provided downtown. Over the past month, meal services at Carrot Toss and the Arch were streamlined so that only people receiving services would be eligible. But starting Monday, clients at the Arch will be given a light breakfast and an evening meal. And then lunch meals will open up again at Carrot Toss. Anyone who needs food is welcome to eat there. Salvation Army will continue their program which offers three meals a day to people staying there. The coalition will be tracking the people who go in for lunch more closely to see what sort of needs they have. And homeless advocates are focusing on making sure the right people are at the arch and getting help. Service providers with Ending Community Homelessness Coalition, or ECHO, have used the last 30 days to identify and track 75 people staying in that area. Here's what they found. More than half were men. 22 had a house plan while 20 slept at shelters and during the pilot program two of those clients signed leases through permanent supportive housing programs during the day 45 of them access the arch on average the arch sleeps 166 people per night all men and the Salvation Army houses 250 people a night including men women and children in addition advocates are trying to rid the area of people negatively impacting the homeless community Earlier this month, Austin police held a drug sting, and get this, in just six, or excuse me, eight days, 81 people were arrested for crack cocaine, heroin, and meth. They found 53% of suspects lived outside the downtown area, but were driving in to prey on the homeless population.